everybody, Erica Serwin here from Pink Buckaroo Designs. I'm gonna show you how to make this beautiful Silly Goose card. Um, this card uses a really good mix of brand new product coming in our 2023-2024 annual catalog, as well as products that are retiring. I've actually used four products on here that are marked way down, and I'll point those out as we go. The biggest thing I wanna show you is the are the new colors that I'm using. I have mixed together three new colors. This is Lost Lagoon, which is actually a returning, actually all three of them are returning in colors from years past, but they're brand new core colors. Lost Lagoon, uh, Pretty Peacock, I think those two go great together, and Berry Burst. Doesn't that make a lovely color combination? Now the Silly Goose stamp set is carrying over. It's in our spring catalog, but it will also be in our new annual catalog. Okay, the first thing I think we're gonna do is create that background um, with our lovely Lost Lagoon color. Um, I'm gonna use this die right here to cut three different angles on this paper. And we're gonna add different um, texture or color to each one to just kind of make them look a little bit different. So I have a, a half a sheet of Lost Lagoon, and I think the first one I'll start with, I'm just gonna put my um, die across. This is one of our basic border dies. I'll run that through. And I love these dies because they give you that stitched edge. I am a sucker for anything with a stitched edge. Now, this time I'm gonna take my die and make it different. So this edge is gonna be kind of curving down that way. And you can cut separate pieces to do this. I just grabbed a piece like this to use and we'll layer them all together so that they all look different. You can cut your pieces up ahead of time. Now this time we went like this. So now I want a hill that goes that way. Okay. And the pieces will, we will cut them down. I always like to start with a larger piece so that I can cut it down because if you start with a piece too small, well, you're out of luck. <laughs> you can't really do anything about it. Um, so I always go big and then trim down. Okay. This first one, this is the back hill. We're going to take our, whoops, I took off the wrong plate. I'm gonna leave plates one and two, and I'm gonna use this into the clouds embossing folder. This is one of the things that is marked way down on the last chance list. And I, I can't believe it, because this is super cute, this embossing folder, and it's been really popular. But you guys, it's only $3.40 right now. I mean, what? That's crazy. So I've got plates one and two, and I'm gonna put plate four right here on the top run that through okay there we go now i think we're done with a cut and emboss machine so let me move that out of the way for the front piece let's see i'm going to do this one like that and that one like that does that seem good for this front piece we're going to use a retiring background stamp called hand drawn dots and it is marked down to $7.60. That's insane. I think that's 60% off. I'm going to use Lost Lagoon ink. And I don't want it to be real bold. So as you can see here, I'm going to stamp it off on grid paper first, like that. And then I'm going to lay this down here. I want the dots to just be real soft and not super noticeable. Okay, there we go. Now, for our third piece, we are just going to um, add some splatter to it. So we're gonna need to grab our um, grid paper. And I am gonna take my blending brush and I'm gonna add ink again, Lost Lagoon. Oh, I'm sorry, nope, no, no, wait, woo, woo, woo. almost made a mistake. <laughs> I'm going to use Pretty Peacock. That was Lost Lagoon. These are pretty. No, no. Goodness gracious. What did I say? This is all Lost Lagoon. Lost Lagoon paper, Lost Lagoon ink. Oh my goodness. Okay. Now take your blending brush and you just want to gently go over it. It's going to make that texture pop out a little bit. Notice that I laid my brush down onto the grid paper first. That way I don't get that hard bump 
right at the beginning when I lay it down. Okay, so we've got that one. Now here's the middle piece. I'm gonna do the same thing. This just makes your cardstock a little more deep and rich in color. And this one, I'm gonna kind of go over the whole thing about the top two thirds, really. Now I'm gonna take my dark Lost Lagoon. Nope, Pretty Peacock. <laughs> oh my goodness, dark Pretty Peacock, and I'm gonna splatter. All right, if you use Lost Lagoon, it will kind of fade into the cardstock too much and it won't be as obvious. You could use it, but I wanted to make it more um, visual than the other. All right, last but not least, we're gonna take our ink again and just ink this front piece as well. Like that. Okay, now let's layer these up. I have a piece of, um, let's see if I can get it right, Lost Lagoon that is four by five and a fourth. And I've got some dimensionals. And the first thing, now I'm gonna use a lot of dimensionals, you guys. I love dimensionals. And I just, when I mail, I buy the non-machinable stamps. All my cards go non-machinable. That way I know that they'll arrive and the post office won't get mad at me <laughs> because I use so many dimensionals. All right, I'm gonna, and it looks like I put one of these dimensionals too far. I'm gonna lay this up here right at the top like that, okay? Now we'll take our next piece, which is this one, and I'm gonna put these dimensionals right along the edge like this. And then last but not least, we'll do this piece right here. Now you can see, obviously, we're gonna need to do some trimming on these pieces. And we'll do that right there. All right, now flip it over, grab your trimmer, and we're just going to trim off the edges, even with that back piece. Okay, get it lined up right there in your gutter. And there you have it. Okay, now I'm gonna also put this on a Lost Lagoon card base, and you guessed it, more dimensionals. Let's make sure my Lost Lagoon card base is right. Okay, got it, I'm gonna put it upside down. I have done that before. Okay. Make sure I get it straight right there. All right, so now let's bring back over real quick our grid paper. And I have in Pretty Peacock cut out one of these. This is from the Forever Flourishing dies, and they are marked down to $18. They are retiring. They're a great little just foliage set of dies. Okay, again, splatter. And we're gonna put that right there behind our goose in just a second, but we need to make our goose first. So bring over your cardstock. We're gonna do this two different times. We're gonna do it in Versamark first on Berry Burst. Okay, and really you just need the things. Oh, I forgot to use my embossing buddy, didn't I? You wanna use your embossing buddy first, guys. That way you won't have stray embossing powder in the wrong places. Hopefully we'll be okay. All right, and then we've got it there in uh, Memento Black. Now for the embossed piece, I'm gonna take my white embossing powder and we're gonna emboss it. All right, looks like we did pretty good. And I'll bring over my heat tool if I can dig it out under the pile over here. Hit it for about 10 seconds. All right, now 
grab your little um, your paper snips and we're gonna cut it. Now, I don't have my glasses and I wish I had them because you wanna stay right on the outer edge of that white line. Because this is a different color cardstock than what we're gonna put it on, we need to make sure we keep that line intact and that there's no colored cardstock sticking out on the opposite side of that line, if that makes sense. Okay, so just go like that. Now, very carefully, you wanna cut out these bumps where his little feathers are holding the sign. Okay. Like that. All right, now this is called paper piecing. When you stamp an image several times on different colored cardstock, you are piecing it together. So I'm gonna take some liquid glue here and I'm gonna adhere this right here. We wanna match it up perfectly. There we go. All right, so now I'm gonna take another new color, light bubble bath, give him some little cheeks. And then I'm gonna use light pumpkin pie to color him and his, his um, little legs and his beak. And then we don't want him really floating around in space. So take your, well, I don't have my, well, we'll use, we'll use light um, Lost Lagoon. Okay, and you just wanna add like a shadow around him. Now, here's another new product, a brand new Circle Punch, two and three eighths. And I'm gonna carefully slide it because remember that glue is probably still wet. It's a good big circle. Sometimes I just like to have a punch when I'm crafting so that I don't have to get up, get the dies out. You know, sometimes it's nice just to have a punch. Okay, so now we want this about right there. So I'm gonna take some dimensionals and I'm gonna stick them down on top. That's gonna to hold it. And then that's also gonna hold on our little goose right there. Okay, last but not least, I have one more retiring product for you. These are champagne rhinestones that are only $4, I'm sorry, $5.50. Now I'm gonna take my Lost Lagoon and I'm gonna color them. My Lost Lagoon stamp and blend. These are alcohol markers, so the ink dries real fast, and you can take them. You can make them any color you want, really. Let's see if I can get them off without my take your pick tool that's across the room. There's one, there's two, there's three. You wanna do odd numbers, okay? And then, We'll do one right there. Last but not least, we do have one more thing. A linen thread bow. And I'm gonna make my bow big by doubling up my thread and tying it. Now look at my hands, you guys. This is all from this project. <laughs> this project is a messy one. Whenever you do any ink blending, be prepared to look like an artist with messy hands. My mother and my daughter are both artists professionally, and they both always have inky, well, there's this paint. Paint all on their hands and under their nails. So I guess when you have ink on your hands, you look like a full-fledged artist as well. All right, there you go, you guys. I hope you liked these products. It's a mix of old and new. Click the link here on my blog. Uh, click the link here on YouTube to go back to my blog to get a free PDF with this and two other Silly Goose projects and some other sneak peeks of new colors. Thanks, everybody. Have a great day. Bye-bye.